so welcome back everyone now on windows 11 i actually found three different features that can create a lot of problem on your windows pc and laptop and can even slow down the performance so i personally keep all these features disabled on all my devices and i would recommend you the same and the very first setting that i would recommend you is the storage sense option now you might be thinking that the storage sense is an amazing option to keep your computer neat and clean and automatically free up the space by deleting the temporary and other kind of unwanted file. Now of course it's an amazing feature but why I'm recommending you to disable the automatic storage sense because what happened when this option is enabled you can see there are different kind of settings like when exactly it has to run uh, with what kind of conditions. Now basically what I have seen what I have noticed uh, that it run automatically in the background and especially for the people who do any kind of gaming or any other kind of work that require a good internet connection. So this is storage sensor option automatically can run during any of the time and it occupy a bit of resources and it can bring a sudden drop in the FPS while gaming or even in the performance. So instead of what I would recommend you that you can disable this option and now you can manually come to this option of the storage here like at least once in a month and here you can manage all these temporary file and other kind of storage manually that would be much easier and even you would be able to decide yourself that what exactly you have to keep and what you have to delete for example on my end you can see i have around 52.1 gigabyte temporary file i can click on it now it shows me that what exactly are the temporary file including the recycle bin and the download now probably i don't want to delete that download section so i can uncheck it and so there can be different categories that you want to keep and you don't want to delete it so this can be manually done very easily and that what i would recommend you that instead of enabling the storage sense option automatically you should keep this off come down to this page by coming to system and storage and it will list you all kind of categories occupying the space all right so this was my first recommendation now next what you have to do click on your window search type power cfg dot cpl hit the enter key and the power option page will be up now it will display all kind of power plan here so here from the left hand side you have to click on choose what the power button do click on it now here in the shutdown settings there are two important settings that i would recommend you that disable them right now number one the first is startup option now it's recommended from the windows and it says this help start your pc faster after the shutdown of course it will be helping you to faster your shutdown but basically it doesn't proper shutdown and you will find that many kind of file are still running in the background and that can probably create a lot of problem in the future. Now if you will bring up the task manager on your end and go to the performance. Now here in the uptime you can see that it only shows me 17 minutes. So basically that means my computer is up for only 17 minutes. But if you enable this option of the fast startup and even if you shut down the computer it will not be properly shut down and then it will show you somewhere like uh, two days or three days or 35 days 50 days because your computer is exactly not shutting down and due to which there can be multiple kind of problem in the future that will be coming on your windows 10 and windows 11 so it's always recommended that kindly go ahead and disable the fast startup no matter it will take a bit longer time to shut down or to open up after the shutdown but yes of course you will be saved from a lot of trouble all right so you can click on change settings that are currently unavailable and turn on the fast startup you have to disable it and now the third and the last one is the hibernate now hibernate is basically for the people uh, who mostly use the laptop what they do instead of shutting down the computer they just close their laptop once they are done with their work and after that, the next time, maybe in the next morning, whenever they have to start again, uh, they bring up the laptop and they find all the application and all the work that they were doing before 
or in the last night so that they can easily continue with saving a lot of time now that concept is good i agree with that but you need to keep in your mind that your computer is still running and you're not shutting it down the machine is still running in the background and you know it will be affecting your cpu your ram your motherboard and entire hardware and sooner or later you will realize that it started creating a lot of multiple problem so again it's recommended from my side and even many people many experts recommend that to disable this option all right so just uncheck the hibernate option and turn on fast startup and then you have to click on save changes so now once you have disabled all these three feature and the next time when you shut down the computer and restart again you will find some difference and even you will be saved from a lot of trouble coming in the future and that's all guys for today and hopefully you found this information useful let me know what are your thought about this feature and do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye